The following profile details the important events of this mission using approximate times. Five, four, three, two, we have ignition and liftoff. The Atlas V RD-180 main engine and four solid rocket boosters ignite to generate the two and a quarter million pounds of thrust to lift the rocket away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins its initial pitch, yaw, and roll maneuvers to attain the proper ascent profile and minimize aerodynamic loads. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 35 seconds. At 46 seconds, the vehicle experiences maximum dynamic pressure. The first two solid rocket boosters, or SRBs, are jettisoned at 1 minute 50 seconds, followed a second and a half later by the third and fourth SRBs. The payload fairing is jettisoned at 3 and a half minutes. As it approaches booster engine cutoff, the Atlas V is burning propellant at the rate of 1,856 pounds per second, traveling at over 12,440 miles per hour, and located 92 miles in altitude and 276 miles downrange. Booster engine cutoff occurs 4 minutes 21 seconds after liftoff. Six seconds later, the booster stage is jettisoned. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 5% of what it did at liftoff four and one half minutes earlier. The first Centaur main engine start takes place 10 seconds after booster separation. Cutoff of the Centaur main engine occurs just over 12 minutes after launch. The mission now enters a nearly 10 minute coast phase. At 22 minutes, the Centaur main engine is restarted. This burn will last five and a half minutes. Following the second Centaur main engine cutoff at 27 minutes 35 seconds, the mission now enters a three hour coast phase. At three hours 27 and a half minutes after liftoff, the Centaur is started for a third and final burn. A minute and a half later, final cutoff of the Centaur main engine occurs. At just under three hours 32 minutes, Centaur releases the GOES-R satellite for NOAA and NASA.